All right, this is DSP's pre-stream of Street Fighter V from uh, February 16th, 2016. No one knew about how limited the content would be in Street Fighter V until this past Friday. So fucking three and a half days before the fucking game launches, you're going to tell everyone the game's going to have almost no offline content. Now... Capcom How horrible it's going to have no offline content for a game that's going to be primarily stuff. played online. Right, yeah, that's still more games. than enough they're time to warn everybody. Uh, you know, okay, we're going to have a Trials mode. You know that mode that was in Street Fighter 4 at launch? Oh, we're going to add that, but that'll be sometime in March, maybe. Uh, we're carrying be, over a previous uh, mode. mode. How amazing. We're going to be fighting mini-bosses that are basically going to be like light versions of the actual fighters in the game. And they'll have, like, more health and different kind of variables. And if you beat them, you'll earn uh, challenge points and or other things. You hear him rocking back and forth from the mic. So that'll be a yep. fun mode. And that'll be available <laughs> eh, maybe sometime in March. Uh, and there'll also be some other features that normally would be in a, in a single player of a Street Fighter game. That, that'll be available in March. Notice so how he brought up the keyword single player. Here? The game is yeah. Once again, Capcom is focusing Capcom on what they feel is the more important again, part, is the online portion. It wasn't ready for a release, yeah. Uh, a $60 but I digress. Full release at least, right? And, uh, Phil, they warned you about what was going to be in the game, so why did you buy it? Complete game for $60. It's not complete. They're going to apparently be completing the game. Is it really incomplete day? when that's just DLC from game, later? So what's the incentive for Capcom to rush and get that out exactly? Fun fact, I did a, a, question, a search right? of the product description on Amazon, have your money. GameStop, and what's Steam. And GameStop and Steam are the same thing. Uh, Amazon just has Does Street Fighter V there. Uh, it, it, nowhere does it say there's going to be single-player stuff. So for you to do. Know. It's I mean, all hyping about the online portion. March, does that mean oh, okay, so that's March? actually not false advertisement. Honestly, so, to so say that you bought this game. for the offline content, um, or the single-player so content, happens, right? uh, is just hilarious uh, me, to me. I, I, I'm mm -hmm. the biggest sucker. I really am. Because I well, <laughs> you really are. Network, which means you had to buy the game in full. Full $60 purchase. Back Welcome the to the dangers of pre-ordering and doing it online, Phil. I've had the game pre-purchased for Even Ben Kenobi months. came out of his uh, house and every now and then to interact. To like if I wanted to go back to GameStop <laughs> and say, "Fuck this! This thing does not work. I don't want, I want my money back." I can't because I got I bought the digital version, right? <laughs> when he got screwed over by Lords of the Fallen, you'd figure he'd have learned Some his lesson. Some people are calling this game the Splatoon of fighting games. <laughs> it's a good comparison for those of you who. No, it's not, too. Phil. I don't blame you, because probably the people who are on my stream right now... Hey, remember all that single-player content that later got added into Splatoon and it came out with only multiplayer content? Remember when you could play as the Inklings in Street Fighter? Mm -hmm. I like how he's also like, ew, if you're watching my stream, you're probably a hardcore gaming fan, uh, fanatic. It's like, wouldn't the hardcore gaming fanatics be playing Street Fighter V instead of watching some dude play Street Fighter V? Um, yeah. That game at launch had almost no content. Or, you know, you go to Twitch and you, there was a stream that had 13,000 views or viewers watching it. Yeah. Except the single players, Phil, if you, that Splatoon had. If, but what Nintendo did is over the course If you don't of mind, I'm going to pause the video here. Every sure. Month, I just want to bring up something that I wanted to... I typed up for this. He Phil said that Splatoon barely had any content on release, and I want to throw out there that Spl Splatoon had a single-player offline mode, mm -hmm. and five maps at launch, and a ranked mode that was unlocked once you got your character to a higher level, and it also had a different objective from the normal matches. So instead of um, how much turf you splatted, it would be who controlled this point the longest. Uh, not to mention that its online mode worked, but hey, that's another argument. It also had about five weapon or five weapons for each subtype, maybe three at the lowest. And there was the blasters, the um, sniper, and the roller. So there's what, 12 weapons there, if I'm doing math correctly, which I don't. Yep, which translates to no content. Yeah, th to say that it has no content is completely erroneous. Can you imagine if, if uh, Phil played Payday 2 when it first came out? Oh, God. There's five heists? Dude, this has no content. <laughs> wow, it spread over three days to make it seem like there's more. I could just imagine him playing it now and still saying that there's no content. Because uh, oh all the maps he'd want to play would just be like three maps, three heists, and then that's it. 
I tried this one and it sucked. I tried this one and it sucked. These are just copies, so they all suck. Different wow. difficulties? Why would I play on everything besides normal? There's no reason to increase the difficulty. Normal is what you're supposed to be playing on. Why is it that there's only normal cops coming in? I was told that I'd rec I was told that I'd come across really crazy guys in juggernaut suits. Uh, okay. So this guy with the green glasses just kicked me and automatically knocked me down. That's not fair. <laughs> Dude, he spawned under that car. One other thing I want to add about Splatoon, just because we kind of talked over it also. Phil said that um, you could see all the content in during one gameplay session. At the at at release, and that's kind of true, but that's if you were playing it for like sixteen hours a day. That's there what was, I was thinking. Yeah, Splatoon's rounds are four minutes in length. It's designed to be quick, fast maps, and it's more catered to people who just want a quick match and they're like, okay, I'm done. I don't need to play this for sixteen hours a day. So there was four minutes in length maps, and then every four hours, and I think that might be incorrect. It may have been uh, two or was, even six. I thought it was two hours. I don't the remember maps the would change. Number. Yes, they would swap out maps, so you would have a different rotation. So, you know, you would see everything if you did just sit down for 16 hours and play it. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe Splatoon wasn't the best game to marathon, Phil. Yeah. Every few weeks, they'd be releasing a new map, a new mode, new guns, new equipment. And by the time that, say, the, the summer was over... The game was a full-fledged game that's probably worth a full retail The game price. was fully fledged when it came out, May, Phil. It would be pretty yeah. Good you, you knew what it had now, when it was $60, unless you didn't do any research. Is, yeah. So, to Fire, me, right? the game was uh, worth you know, the $60, and then the additional d DLC they gave us later was icing on the cake. Their, their, their exactly. And release all this free content for the game content. over the next several months. Remains content. Who has more clout, Nintendo or Capcom at this point? Clout? That's a good question, actually. You take a poll. Who has more clout? Oh, he said clout. I thought he said gout. Probably Nintendo would win the poll because they have <laughs> more fanboys, I would think. But uh, I like too how I everything in Phil's yeah. world is so defined by fanboyism. Actually, add in all the things. And he uses it as a derogatory statement, also. Or, you know, are they how is DLC having anything to do with clout? The primary focus right now should be getting the fucking game to work. I couldn't tell you. I'm going to be honest with everyone here. I'm incredibly livid about this situation. <laughs> oh, I couldn't oh. tell. Am I livid because this game doesn't work at launch? No. That's actually not the reason I'm livid. I'll tell you. <laughs> Technically, why I'm it does work. I'm pissed because all I heard about yesterday was Lupe Fiasco has defeated Daigo in Street Fighter V. Then why did you... First of all, wait, where did you hear that from in the first Lupe place? Fiasco. Until yesterday, Who's Lupe I Fiasco? I don't have a smartphone honest, to look up on Wikipedia on. I, I looked at... I heard about it very briefly, and I looked up both those people. Fuck. Why do I care if some guy who I've never fucking heard of is going to play Daigo in fucking Street Fighter? If you don't care, why are you talking about it? It's a Isn't Daigo considered one of the best Street Fighter players? Yeah. So that would be something like, oh, I should care because this guy I've never so heard of this? is challenging this guy and it's actually being taken event? seriously. Make the fucking game yeah. work, you stupid fucking jackass. I'm so pissed that all because you this is all I've heard about, but I don't care about it. How much money and time was put into PR for this fucking event? When you could have made your fucking game work at launch. Fun fact, Capcom did not have this as a PR. They did not create this as their PR event. It was created by a former Mad Cats employee. Mm -hmm. And they, they get, you know, they, let's use Street Fighter to promote the game. But Capcom didn't say, let's get Daigo and this guy together and we'll create the tournament and all that. No, it was a completely separate entity. And even, and even if they did, it would have been separate, like, groups in the company. Like, the marketing, te can't, uh, the marketing team would have nothing to do with the overall development. PR doesn't work in, uh, programming? No, I mean, it's sure a shocker. Wow. That shit pisses me the fuck off. I like how he gets pissed off over this legit. fucking little thing. Oh, legit way to yeah! <laughs> no! You wanna know a good way to promote your game? He, he legitimately has keyboard. a point where he's he can get angry well, over the online part not working when it's the only thing that Street Fighter V right now has to focus on. No, he didn't! Yeah. But he but just said that's not why he's angry. Never lose to a fucking but instead, let's let, let's ma be angry about this time. one little uh, basics, event that happened. And yeah, and now he just said that he that Dago would never lose to him. Care about that shit. Here, I'm gonna give you a little a little bit of taste of reality. Uh -oh. Hey Phil, I think he did lose to him. For everyone, Street Fighter is not fucking MMA. When they hype up these fucking events and they're like, oh, exhibition match between this player and this player. 
These people are not hardcore fucking fighters who have been training for countless hours in multiple fucking mixed martial arts, you know. Well, abilities. if you want to look... kids who sit there and fucking play games on a joystick. Right? They sink countless same. hours You're into those games, Phil, to, to know exactly how they play. The, I think it probably tell you the engine better than the devs could. Pretend, like, street fighter, competitive street I can't fighter, believe that someone who plays video games for a living is shitting on eSports. Right? Yes. Like, the one thing that I should be proud of, like, yes, my, my hobby is being taken care uh, being treated seriously now. What was the name of that one guy who made him cry again? Fucking shit about that. I want oh, I don't know. To work what I remember is that he was a guy who was about as money. muscled as the characters he played as. I paid money and I want my game to fucking work. That's all I care about. Where this dude was huge for Seriously. some reason. Bullshit. So, I guess he spends. Capcom, I guess he splits his time between fighting people, games and going to the gym. Eat my ass. Damn. Because I don't give a fuck about your dumb shit. I mean, props. I uh, props to him. Working at fucking long. All right. This whole tirade could have been avoided. By it's just doing two minutes start. of research. Yes. Now, apparently, All I did was go to Google, the, the, this uh, huge Lupe failure. Fiasco, scroll down, uh, and it said, here's an uh, event uh, that he started at with Daigo, and matter. it was hosted by this guy, game? and was yeah. watched by this many people. Content, mm -hmm. And an online component that doesn't work for $60 and sell it like it's a fucking game. Why'd they do that? It's very simple. Because they wanted this game to be released in time, so that they could do... Here it is, in fact... We're staring at it right now. If you're watching this video, if you're not just listening to me rant, here it is. Capcom Pro Tour or Esports League. Esports League. Like it's a fucking MMA League. Esports League. No. It's bullshit. Huh? Explain it's how. Shit. Couldn't they, they delay the Pro available, Tour if they were that worried that Street Fighter V wouldn't league. work? So and But the Pro like Tour was coming? Couldn't they say, let's wait not. until Street Fighter works and, and then uh, we'll also release say, the Pro oh, Tour? Now we can I was thinking that too. Tournament line, right? Fuck you! But no, in Phil's world, that's the reason why they released Street Fighter V, because Pro Tour. Rob the consumer mm. for a small group of people. I know all about robbing the consumer. Ken came up to me and threatened to do a Hadouken unless I bought Street Fighter V. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I shook hands with Zangief, and you can't break that. Yeah, I don't care. About them making fucking videos about the game and hyping the game up. Because that's all it really is. Get this game out immediately so the known people can start playing it. They can do this. If you don't care you know, about videos hyping the game up, why did you go on and on about Lupe versus Dago? For a game that no one else could play. If you don't have friends who are going to come over to your house to play, you can't even play this fucking game right now. Mm, sounds like somebody it's we know. It's a joke, man. It's a joke. <laughs> If only they uh, warned you really about angry. that really on their pay it. or uh, like really before angry. the game came out. I'm just like this is such a, a well. He feels screwed because he pre he pre ordered this back last year. Oh, did he pay it in full when he pre ordered it? Yeah, because he bought it online right? instead of going to GameStop no and putting five dollars game. down. Well, tough luck then. Fucking ridiculous. Welcome to the the perils of pre ordering, sir. Yeah. Now let me ask you a question. You remember when Street Fighter Four came out? It's kind of funny because I kind of remember the game working. Kind of right? remember. The game Not so sure. <laughs> when it was released, weren't there a ton of offline components like arcade mode and trials mode? So if the online was kind of sucking shit, you actually had something to do, right? But then the online play worked. And sure, it lagged. I never liked the online component of Street Fighter 4. I always thought that it was laggy. And the of course he did. And the really? I never bad, heard those complaints from him ever. At least you could oh, it's so it. strange coming for him. Right? You could at least play the game. You paid sixty bucks. You could play the fucking game. You know, this entire time I'm staring this at those at those scrolling it's words, like just so that something interesting can happen. It's, this isn't even the B team. This is like the D team of Capcom games. What's even greater is that on How second stream, this, this was first stream. On second stream, the game started game. working. So he he went on this Got diatribe. He couldn't play the game for you know, six you know, hours. It's kind of like oh and then it started no! Working I know, right? It ate up into his busy business schedule. That's so horrible. You go to a doctor, Couldn't he just play the survival the modes and stuff that first day? Class, yeah, he could have played story class. and stuff. That, that worked. Doctor had a D Why didn't he do that? School, but there's still a doctor when Couldn't tell you. Right? I honestly I don't, don't know his excuse for that. Team of game Did you see his excuse for why he wasn't going to wake up early to play this game when the servers weren't all that busy? No, why was that? It's because he didn't want to. Uh -oh. Wake up and change my make a, wake up early and change my sleep schedule. Fuck that. How about no? How about you revolve around me, please? All right. Mm -hmm. Because there's no way he's ever gonna wake up at the uh, 
early hour of sometime before 10 o'clock. Right. So I've now <laughs> fucking ranted and raved for about 20 minutes. I need to start relaxing and get my blood pressure down. Then why do we have four minutes left? <laughs> but I had to get this off my chest because I had enough of their fucking shit. And I'm sorry. If you're a fucking Capcom fanboy and you won't stop sucking their fucking dick at this point, you might as well just permanently spread your fucking ass cheeks and let them insert. Yay, because gay that's jokes! Much <laughs> you're, gonna you're gonna be the butt boy of Capcom if at this point. No girls have ever played Capcom games. <laughs> you're a fucking tool. You might as well just start taking a paycheck for it. Why don't you? I mean, if you're gonna actually kiss Capcom's ass that much to say this is acceptable, that it's th this bad of a game with this little content and a non functioning online To be fair, oh no, wait, Phil was b bitching about Machinima way back it, when, and then all of a sudden he's accepting their paychecks. He should know about this, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. Paycheck for it. Don't, I do want to throw out again how he was using fanboy as a derogatory term. You'll hear him say, oh, I'm not, I'm not a big fanboy of Nintendo or. Uh, all the fanboys came out of the woodworks, and then he uh, get then the new release comes out. I'm a huge fan of, and then it's your thing here. See, there's a difference though between fan and fanboy. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite thing was just recently when he said, "I'm a huge fan of Naruto," and he, and he knows none of the characters' names. He just said that everyone was bitching at him during the beta about how it didn't work. And that he shouldn't complain because it's a beta, and yeah. now he feels be justified honest, because is, the the actual I'm release game doesn't work. I'm the but he still wasn't justified there. in the bitching at a beta. No, very Shuriken true. Like the beta was there to see if they could handle the server stress, and then they couldn't. So they tried their the best to fix it. Unfortunately, at release, it doesn't work. And yes, now you have the right to be angry. People don't like Yeah. Tough titties. People don't like me because I speak the truth. There's a little bit more to it than that. Yeah. They need to stop with this nonsense of PR bullshit and fucking tell me that paying a full price for a game with no features and a non-functioning fucking online component is okay in this day and age. No, fuck you. Once again, fuck welcome to the perils of pre-purchasing a game. <clears throat> Do you uh, hear me bitching about how XCOM is so, stuttering? Now that I've got all that off my chat. Can you imagine him getting a new house and it uh, game, having a lot of problems happens, with it? Right? Um, I'm going to see what, what happens. <laughs> they didn't tell me this roof would leak. Little, what the like hell? They didn't warn me about out. storms here in Tornado out. Alley. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? Stupid ass realtors, man. But uh, then the game tried to match make me into a match and made my training mode basically slow fucking motion, and I couldn't even do that. Let's see. At least, at the very least, all right, in the very least, if the online component will allow me to log in. At least I can earn points playing the fucking stuff, right? Oh, well, that's all that counts. So totally and with those count, points, I can get... I may be learning basics with the uh, as I go through things like survival mode. So it may not be a total waste of time. I mean, uh, I want to definitely... Need to really get <laughs> I'm going to get points that mean in, nothing. That's game. clearly yeah, not a waste of time. The online play never works. Let's see what happens. And now immediately when I'm going to fucking boot the game, people in the stream chat are saying... Oh, the matchmaking doesn't work right now. You can't play the game online. <laughs> Man, it's really hard oh, to follow yes. their Twitter Fuck accounts you, and find out if it works or not. All right. That's yeah, enough. it's not like Capcom has, a, has their own Twitter account. With this shit. Oh, my God. Let's get started. Let's see what happens. Well, we've only been 15 minutes Thanks in, Phil. Come on. Me. Thank you for letting me... Uh... Get that off my chest. Was it really important? Wasn't this something you could have done on your, better your better. website? Why did, mm -hmm. you, why did this need to be a video form? All right, let's begin. <laughs> Motherfucker. Because he was waiting for people mm -hmm. to join the stream. Wasn't this called pre-stream hype? Fucker. I will have to look Sorry. for the original video. Oh, let me get my headphones out. Oh, I can probably oh, find oh, it in my video history to now. Try to get some air uh, circulation in here. Oh, we almost got through that whole pre-stream without some kind of fuck up, but he's got to go open up a window. Oh. How horrible. So close yet so far away, Phil. Damn it. In a playlist called Street Fighter V Launch Day Fail Coverage, and it's called Getting Shit Off My Chest About the Street Fighter Launch. Warning! Real talk! Mmm, gotcha. And my video was actually edited, so there was an additional ten minutes that I didn't have included. Yeah. Which, I don't know, maybe maybe we should have watched the whole thing, but then I you hear a gunshot go off in the background. So Yeah. Know. So far, so good. So what? <laughs> 